learners, how are you today? I hope that you are just doing fine and you are enjoying doing your activities while studying at home. This is me, Teacher Clarife, your Science for Teacher, always eager and happy to be with you in your journey as we explore the amazing world of science. Did you have fun doing your tasks? Yeah! Were you excited in doing some observations regarding your previous lesson? Great! I am really happy to know that you accomplished each task with great joy and meaningful learning. Today, we will be learning more about the changes in properties of matter. Are you excited? So what are we waiting for? Sit back and relax, learn more, and enjoy while watching this video lesson in science. But before we begin, let me check first if you have with you the following materials. Do you have with you your module, your notebook, your pen, and of course, your healthy snacks. If all are set and ready, come on, let's start the learning adventure. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to describe the changes in properties of material when exposed to certain condition like temperature. Specifically, you will learn to describe what happens to materials when heated and cooled and differentiate the changes in materials when heated and cooled. Are you excited for our new lesson today? Yeah! Great! But before that, let us first have a short review of your previous lesson for week 2 and week 3. Now, can you still remember your previous lesson? Great! We talked about the changes in properties of material when they are bent, cut, pressed, and hammered. When we say bent, it means to force from a proper shape by curving. Now when we say pressing, it means an action of pushing pressure. And when we say cut, it means to strike sharply with a cutting effect. And lastly, when we say hammer, it means something that resembles a hammer in a form of action. Now, are you familiar with these words? And can you remember their meanings? Great! Now let's test if you really understood your previous lesson by playing this spinning wheel game. Are you excited? Yes, because me too. I'm very excited to play this game. So let's begin. Here a spinning wheel with me. Whenever the spinning wheel stops spinning and whatever object is pointed by the arrow, you'll get an answer if this object can be hammered, cut, bent, or pressed. Did you get it? So let's begin. Now what is this object? Great! It's a paper. And what do you think will happen to the paper? Yes, the paper can be cut. Now let's proceed to the next object. What is this object? Right, it's a spoon. Now what do you think will happen to the spoon? Great, the spoon can be bent. Amazing! 
what is this object? Great! This object is a clay. And what do you think will happen to the clay? Yes, the clay can be pressed. And now, let's have the last object. Spin the wheel. Now, what is this object? Great! It is a wood. And what do you think will happen to the wood? Yes, it can be hammered. Amazing! And now, I am pretty sure that you are all ready for our next lesson. So let's begin. I have here a question for you. Have you tried putting an object in an intense heat? An intense cold? Great! And what do you think will happen to the object when heated? And what do you think will happen to the objects when cool? Now that's what we're going to explore today. Did you know that heating and cooling help humans to survive? Why do you think so? And did you know that this processes makes new material that we use every day? Wow! If you knew that, that's amazing! Now we will talk about it now today. In this video lesson, you will enhance your knowledge about heating and cooling and also you will know their benefits in our daily living. But before that, let me check first how well do you know the changes of the properties of materials. Now let's have this activity and this activity is called four picks one word have you tried playing this game in your mobile phones now if you do i'm sure that it's easy for you to answer this game now what you're going to do is you're gonna arrange the jumbled letters with the help of the pictures and the meaning are you ready let's start Number one, the meaning of this is the quality of being hot or high temperature. What could be this word? What is your answer? You're right, the word is heat. Now let's proceed to number two. This means to make or become liquefied by heat. What could be this word? What is your answer? Great! The word is melt. Let's proceed to number three. This means at a fairly low temperature. What could be this word? What is your answer? Right! The answer is cool. And let's proceed to number four. This means the process of making liquid becomes hard or solid. What is your answer? Yes, you're right. The answer is solidify. Did you guess all the words by playing the four picks in one word game? That's great! I hope that you're having fun while learning those words. And this is it! We are now on our lesson for today. We will talk about heating and cooling. Do you have any idea what are the meaning of these words? Now, let's talk about this. What is heating and cooling? Can you differentiate the two? I know that you have already idea about these words. And this is what we are going to explore for today's lesson.
Now when we say heating, it is the process of making something hot or warm. What is heat? Heat is the transfer of energy from a higher temperature object to a lower temperature object. When things are heated, they change their size, shape, and texture. They also change in form. Particles move about more and take up the room when heated. This is why things expand if heated. Remember, they expand when heated. When heated, some solid materials are changed to liquid. And when we say cooling, it means making something less warm or hot. When cooled, liquid materials change to solid. And the best example of this is an ice cube melting under the heat and solidifies when cooled. kids you have made it this far and let's continue exploring now let's have this observation by simply observing what will happen to material or object we will know the value of heating and cooling come on let's do this Did you observe well? Great! Did you list down all your observations? Awesome! Now let's have another observation activity. Did you have fun doing all the activities? Great! Now, let us gather what you've learned today by answering the following questions. Number one, define what is cooling and heating. And number two, discuss one to three reasons why heating and cooling are important. And number three, how heating and cooling can affect our daily life. Write down your answers on your notebook. Congratulations kids, we are almost done with our lesson for today. Now let us assess what you learned for today's lesson. Identify the choice that best completes the statement or answers the question. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Let's start with number 1. Which of the following sets represents the three phases of matter? A chocolate bar orange juice and oxygen b melted crayon salt and ice cube c sugar candle and flame and d none of the above number two which of the following is true about heating a materials remain as is when they are heated b Heating does not do anything to matters. C. Materials expand when they are heated. And D. Freezing water is a process of heating. Did you get all the correct answers? Fantastic! You are really learning and ensure that this enhancement activity is just a piece of cake for you. Are you ready for this last activity? Great! So what are you waiting for? Let's do this heating and cooling puzzle game. 
Fill in the blanks with the correct word to complete the paragraph. Choose from the box. Congratulations kids! You have gone far and all of you deserve this Science Star Award! For you have been so eager and interested to learn despite this pandemic we are facing today. Always remember that learning is a choice and learning with positive result is a choice with hard work and dedication. I am so proud of you all kids. Now let us reflect from our lesson today. Describe in real life situation showing how heating and cooling is important to our life. Thank you so much learners for watching and listening attentively to this video lesson. I am teacher Clarife reminding you that life is all about science and science is life itself. Continue learning, continue exploring, and keep safe always while studying at home.